Hawks won a state championship. Brooks don't walk away. Brooks Carey led us to that title. And here tonight, it's our honor to have Brooksy back with us again. And he's going to introduce uh, Victor, who is, uh, should be ready to go. Yes! There he is. He's back on the mound. That's pretty good, huh? I have the mic. I'm shoot myself. Where do you want me to put it? Put right there. That's good. Okay. Can everybody hear me? I'm going to keep this short, okay? Uh, I, I don't get nervous when I get up here. I get nervous about what I might say. And on, on top of that, my, my, I think my notes that I wrote down are in deep right field over here. Uh, I, got, I thought about a funny story the other day. In 1998, towards the end of the season, uh, Mike Lannon, the superintendent, walked up to me over here in the corner and he goes, Hey, Brooks. And I, I hadn't really talked to Mike much up until that time. He says, I really love you. And I said, you love me? You don't even know me. He goes, I know enough about you. He says, the difference between your two-hour practices and Ralphie's seven-hour practices has saved the school board $27,000. He said. So Mike and I became really good friends, so I nicknamed him Gumby. <laughs> if, you, if you know Mike, it was, uh, uh, I thought it was a funny story. And he used to carry, he loved me so much, and I saved him so much money on practices for three years, he carried a picture of me in, in the lot. So anyway, um, I, I know there's a lot of stuff going on around here. Um, well, first I want to tell you just a quick story. My wife and I got together a few months ago and she, she goes, how many states have you coached to manage and played at? So we came up with uh, 34 states in the country. And, the, and it's, uh, there's nothing quite like what you're seeing right here. Nothing at all. I go to a lot of high school games, scout young kids. Uh, I've seen college games, professional baseball games, and there's nothing quite like this place right here. This place is the straw that stirs the drink in this town still. He was high school baseball. There's nothing, there's nothing else like this around here. And the good news is that uh, I know there's a lot of construction going on around here. And uh, I, from what I'm hearing, the, the baseball team after 70 years is going to get their own baseball clubhouse. And Ralphie's going to get his nice office. And I heard something, they're going to put a top and over the stands and stuff. Is, what a, hold on. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm going to have to circle back with you here. I, maybe, I got, I, maybe I got some bad news. I'm not sure. But, um, Jerry. Pardon me? Jerry, ladies and gentlemen. No, don't tell me what to say, Jack, okay? <laughs> you think you got your name and headlines over here on the boulevard and you can still run my life or something, okay? Stand down, private, okay? But everything I just said, the, the members of the jury, the, don't disregard those statements, okay? Well, my job here is to introduce a guy, okay? I, this is the, uh, the next speaker that's going to come up here. It's the nicest, sweetest, kindest, most generous, loyal Key West High School conk that has ever played on this field. Uh, he was raised by two great people, Jose and Cheeky who became like fathers and mothers to me. Uh, they lived on Flagler Avenue and it was almost like a, a traffic stop right there. We could walk in the house, didn't have to knock on the door. And he and his brother and the family became very close to my mom and dad and uh, all the other family 